Okay, so how do we calculate a P.E. ratio, uh, the price to earnings ratio? It's very simple. You take the price of the stock and you divide that by the earnings. Uh, for example, if a, um, a stock costs $20 and um, it's making $2 per share um, on, the, on every share that it makes, um, that's actually a P.E. of 10. So, um, you know, and you can see how that would change. If it was only making $1 per share, your P.E. would go from 10 to 20 because 20 divided by $1 of earnings would um, give you your, your 20 P.E. When you're looking at a price to earnings ratio, um, you want to look for a lower number um, than a higher number. A very high number over 20, for example, means that the company's got a very expensive stock. It's not making a, a lot of earnings per share. If you find one, um, say for our first example, that was a $20 stock and it's making $2. For every $20 that, that you spend to, to buy a piece of that company, it's making $2 in uh, profit. That's um, those are great earnings, and um, that was a PE of 10. So you want to look for a PE generally around 15 is about ideal. Um, if you get higher than that, and just look at the, the, the stock. Maybe it might be overpriced. It might actually be something that's going to come down in value in the future. Um, but you also look historically. Some um, companies are more profitable than others, and that's really going to depend on the industry and, and the environment um, in the market at that point in time.